slamming hard the anti-anthem brigade. The Arjuna Awardee tweeted that winning a medal wouldn't be half as good without it. And the question here is that, will the likes of Ovesi actually take note of this strongly worded tweet coming from a shooter and uh, Arjuna Awardee Hina Sidhu? She has tweeted, No need to stand up for national anthem means you can carry on eating your popcorns, chit-chatting, talking loudly on your phone while it's playing. Sometimes I feel so blessed to be a sports person. We can't even imagine this. Getting a medal would, wouldn't be half as good without the anthem. Strongly worded tweet coming from an at, or right, from a sports person who has on various occasions represented the country at the international events and brought laurels also. Shimon Ray, our sports editor, joining us on, on, a, on a phone line on the story. Shimon. What a fantastic tweet coming. Okay, he is live with us. What a fantastic tweet coming from Hina, uh, taking a strong position, in fact, against the likes of Uwesi, who have been unnecessarily raking a controversy over the national anthem being played at the theatres. And here you have Hina, I mean, lashing out at them, isn't it? Well, absolutely. And who is uh, Hina Sidhu? Uh, Hina Sidhu is the one who has won gold medals for India in shooting. And uh, this is not the first time he, she has uh, won gold medals in Asian Games, in Commonwealth Games and also in World Cup. Remember, she had also uh, got a world record in her... Uh, uh, I, I mean, the, the way she has been displaying. Now, she has uh, stamped her authority in, in, in the game of shooting. But uh, having said that, she has never deviated from the, from the position she had earlier taken and that was always uh, 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 giving due respect to national anthem and national flag as well now what she has said she has uh, at the same time she understand now as we speak she is uh, as uh, practicing behind uh, this place uh, uh, in carnishing uh, uh, shooting range and uh, she is now not uh, taking the calls but she has made it a point that to take on all the uh, so-called anti-national forces and uh, also those who uh, you know uh, uh, talk about uh, this the, those who also say that uh, there should not be there is no need to stand up during national anthem uh, or, or uh, during uh, you do not need to pay due respect to the national flag here is a fitting reply a telling blow to them that a, a top star a top shooter can take you on now what is the credibility of these uh, politicians uh, have they won any medal for india have they got anything that makes india proud no so that's that's one reason why i i think it's a, a brilliant thing and indian sports persons if they continue to uh, make the country proud as well as take positions in life now this is all about taking position in life and uh, not many can it's it's a uh, very good that people like Nihina Sidhu and remember she is very young she is not very old why does Indian cricketers do not take similar positions in life why they do not tweet uh, certain things uh, these things like this this is also one question Hina Sidhu that I know for from the beginning that uh, she is someone who will always take on who will always support a, a India's cause and also pay due sure. respect to national anthem and national flag I think this is a brilliant brilliant gesture and uh, she should be applauded for this and I also believe the shooting community yes. in fact uh, uh, all the shooters have the same kind of sentiment talk about Gagan Naran talk about Abhinav Bhindra talk about all these they, they feel they uh, hold their uh, country's flag you know, the national any, anthem and as for well as any athlete Shimon and they feel proud about it Shimon yeah. Shimon your thoughts yeah. on this for any athlete you've covered sports for uh, almost a decade over maybe more than that Shimon for any athlete singing national anthem standing to the tunes of national anthem with national tri-color fluttering you know there cannot be any bigger moment than this not only for athletes for any Indian and here you have Hina slamming hard at the brigade, anti-anthem brigade. Well, can we say that this is, this is a concerted position taken by the sports fraternity in a way? Because they have time and again come out and lashed out at people who are unnecessarily raking out a controversy over national anthem. A non-issue and making an issue out of it. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think you are absolutely bang on because uh, the fact remains that uh, it's not only Hina who has been uh, talking about it, but uh, Hina has been very, very vocal about it. She feels it very strongly that it's not only the responsibility mm. for her to get the medals for India, but also take a stand and position in life. And uh, it, it seems that uh, she has been taking it 
very consistently. I just uh, spoke to her, her husband because uh, she is playing at the moment. She is practicing. So I, I uh, spoke to Ronak Pandit and she, he said that uh, uh, it's it's the consistent uh, uh, line and a consistent a consistent uh, position she has taken in life. And it's not only about Ina. It's about all the shooters who have been bringing medals after medals in Commonwealth Games, in Asian Games, and in Olympics as well. Shooting perhaps is the most coveted or most uh, inspiring, I think, either sports in India, which has been bringing laurels to the country, both in terms of medals as well as making the country proud. Now, who can f forget the way when Rajvardhan Singh Rathor won that silver medal for India and when Indian flag held high and everyone felt proud. Now, these people, will they also not stand up during that moment? That is a question. Gagan Narang raising the, these issues again and again from time